He wasn't interested. It doesn't take much to figure that out. Well, you're right about one thing. You don't know anything about him, do you? To me and to a whole lot of other people, your father, Charlie Granger, was a hero. I used to read about him all the time. Always discovering new worlds. South Pacific, Africa, South America. I'll make a deal with you. I'll go anywhere you want if you'll just stop talking about my father. I... I really don't want to hear it. Could you please stop the car? I need some air. You got it. Michael, that young lady is such a brat. I can't help but wonder why anyone would leave her a goodbye note, let alone a treasure. Kit, she's Charlie's daughter. Blood's thicker than water. So is my motor oil, but he didn't leave me anything. When Catherine does seek her treasure, I think I could contribute to the search. How are you gonna do that? With a pickaxe? No, but Devin spoke of deciphering a key which is hidden in her locket. I have a feeling I'd be a natural at that particular aspect of the hunt. I'll keep that in mind, partner. Uh oh. Jailbreak! <laughs> Come on. Now look what you've done. You ruined my dress. I ruined your dress? OK, OK, OK. We'll get you a change of clothes. We will not. All right. Have it your way. Get pop the truck. <laughs> well, these don't have designer labels, but they'll keep you warm. There's a shirt, socks, and uh, I'll have to get you some shoes. Give me some privacy, will you, pal? But of course. Catherine. Uh, may I call you Catherine? I don't care what you call me. You seem to dislike Michael. I understand that people sometimes react to other people that way. But why do you dislike me? You're a computer. I don't trust computers. I was raised by them. Really? A bank computer sent me my check every month, paid my bills, and okayed my report cards and analyzed my scholastic development. The only thing it didn't do was tuck me into bed at night. Which for people is more important. You do understand a little, don't you? I look horrible. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Please understand, it was a protective measure. You call kidnapping, perhaps even assault, a protective measure? Michael Knight is a trusted employee of this foundation, Mr. Stone. He is not an assailant. As executor of Charlie's estate and guardian to his daughter for the last 20 years, I have a legal and moral responsibility to take care of the dispensation of any treasure to Catherine. Treasure? I didn't mention a treasure. We're talking in circles. My demand is very simple. I want to know where Catherine is, now! And under the circumstances, I'm afraid I can't tell you. An attempt was made on Catherine's life today, Mr. Stone. That's ridiculous. Catherine doesn't have an enemy in the world. Didn't have. Apparently, thanks to the treasure, she now does have. Uh, I agreed to talk to you because your credentials checked out. 
but until a lot of questions have been answered to my complete satisfaction, I am not going to change my position. Nor will I change mine. I'd like to get this over with as soon as possible. Wait a minute. I think there's something you ought to see first. What's this place? It's the Foundation's guest cottage. Come on, come on. Well, where are we going? I think it's about time that you met someone. Here he is on an all-white camel. Hey, who's that cute little girl? Got a real pretty little locket. Hey, Catherine, I think you know her. May I see that, please? Catherine, I'd like you to meet your dad. Do you understand what I was saying before? Don't cheat yourself out of the honor of being Charlie Granger's daughter. He was a great man. The last of a breed, they don't make anymore. These are all pictures of me. I wonder why he kept him for all those years. Because he loved you. You were never out of his thoughts. Then why didn't he come and see me? Why didn't he write to me? According to my information, he couldn't. He was in prison on trumped-up charges in South America for 15 years. He desperately wanted to see you. This is all I ever had of my father. His picture in the locket. I used to hold on to this all the time. Just to make me feel like he was close by. Remember when you were a little kid and you used to run into your parents' room in the middle of the night when the thunder got too loud? I didn't have anyone to run to. I'm sure he wanted to be there for you. He tried to give you everything he could. Then why did he send me away like I was some dog in a kennel? I would have given up everything just to be with him. Just to sit on his lap and have him hold me. Do you think I would have chosen the schools and the clothes over my father's love? He didn't mean to reject you. But just because he disappointed you doesn't mean you can shut out everybody else who tries to care for you. When you shut them out,